Matt fans, I thought it was about time that we did another ArcGIS tip because we haven't had one of those for a while. Hope you're all doing good. Thanks very much for all the subscriptions that we've had recently. That's really cool. Please keep it going. That makes me happy. All right, so what we're doing today is georeferencing, and specifically, we are going to use ArcGIS's Auto GeoRefer. Fantastic. No more looking for niggly control points. We will get right to the point. So this area is White and Woods uh, in Oxford. And at the moment, I just have some Ordnance Survey data. The woodlands, there we go. You can see woodland areas highlighted there. And I've brought in a base map as well from Esri. So there we are, that's what we've got. Now the idea is that I am going to use a aerial photo and I'm going to geo-reference it using the magic of computers. So let's bring in our aerial photo. There we go, Whiteham aerial photo. I'll add that in. Immediately Arc is upset and that's because we've got an unknown spatial reference. Oh. So our aerial photo is a JPEG. Currently, it doesn't have a geo reference attached to it, so it's got no coordinate system, no CRS coordinate reference system. So we're just going to OK that and say, all right, whatever. Um, now, our aerial photo, you can see it's in our layers panel, our table of contents, but we can't see it on the screen. Where has it gone? If I right click and zoom to layer, aerial photos here you can see it's really detailed it's pretty good but unfortunately it's in the middle of nowhere and that's because it has no georeference so let's get back to our woodland layer I'm going to zoom to that find white and woods and I'm, what I'm going to do is just get the screen roughly so that it looks a little bit like our aerial photo now to georef we have a toolbar and it is the georeferencing toolbar so if you go up to customize you go to toolbars we can go to georeferencing click on that and here it is um, I may dock this no I'm not gonna I'm just gonna leave it hanging all right so our georeferencing toolbar we've got whiteham aerial photo dot jpeg that's what we're going to be doing using this drop down I am going to ask ArcGIS to fit this to display. Boom, there it is. And it looks, uh, it's pretty good already. That's not bad. The best way we can kind of assess this is with our woodland layer. So let me get this right. If I move that to the west and then fit to display again, yes, we're getting closer. All right, so move it to the west, fit to display. And what I'm trying to do is just get it really as close as I can, sort of, without being spot on, because it's very hard to get it spot on. Let's just try that one. Oh, that looks pretty good. Is it? It's all right. Not great. Let's just give it one more go. Ah, that'll do. All right. So I'm just trying to get it as close as I sort of can with the naked eye and then I'm going to get Arc to do some magic and we are going to use this thing called auto registration. So I'm going to auto register this and what Arc is going to do is it's going to look at the base map, it's going to look at our white and aerial photo and it's going to register it for us. Magic. You see at the bottom it is 22% done at the moment. This does take a while, so get yourself a coffee or something like that, and I'll hit pause. And look at that, it has finished. Did you have a good coffee? I hope you did. So this looks pretty good. Wubba, lubber, dub dub. You can kind of see around the edges where things should be lining up. And on top of that, we can get in a little bit closer. And I'm going to turn on the image analysis window. I'm going to highlight white and aerial photo and then do a swipe layer. So I'm just going to have a 
little swipe a roo at this and there we can see the banks of the river lining up pretty well look at the road ooh where we're going we don't need roads very nice alright so that's looking pretty good you might be wondering what all the red and green little crosses are they're what's known as control points so ordinarily when you're doing this you would find a point on the map that looks nice and easy so maybe down here you'd pick a road intersection you'd say this point is definitely here on the map and then you would click it to start a control point and then you'd go to your reference layer and click again and say that point should be there sort of so this looks really good well done ArcGIS that is very nice let's have a quick look at the control points table we can see our link table here wow lots of numbers and if you're not happy with some of these control points you can get rid of them uh, delete them you can add your own in as well so you can keep going if there's a particular area of the uh, georeferencing that looks a bit shoddy by all means add to it let's have a look at this the uh, reservoir here yeah nice okay so this is looking pretty good that is how you can very quickly georeference things thanks a lot for watching and again thanks a lot to all our subscribers uh, please do subscribe give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to know more about georeferencing and how it works, get in touch via the comments. Happy mapping.